All right, guys, we're on to the second version of this uh, of this Russian Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels. We did the Jim Beam. Now it's on a wild turkey. So uh, ooh, let's, let's spot the differences. It's like that old game from when we were all kids. So uh, yeah, let's get into this beer. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? ready? All good to go. Beer, 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 but beer, but beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mick Ruski, for another Ruski Ruski review. And today we also have Jordan here as well. And we are tackling the second version of the 2018 Never Say Never by Rouge River Brewing Company. This is their wild turkey barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout. Again, coming in at 11.9% alcohol by volume, and I think either 70 or 80 IBUs, I forget at the moment which one it is, but they're slightly different IBU scales. Same base beer, different barrels, so we're going to see if there's a really big difference in these, or uh, or if it's very minimal. Oh, well, before you uh, pour a quick question, uh, mm -hmm. you, think, you think this was the, like, let's say one is 70, one is 80? Okay. Do you think this was the 70 IBU? I'd say that's probably the 70 IBU one. Uh, well, I would 100% agree with you there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem super extra. No, it didn't. It didn't seem very... Like, 80 IBU sounds pretty up there. Yeah, yeah. With the chocolate and like, I don't know, with stouts and whatnot, especially Imperial stouts? Yeah. I always wonder because it's like, is it... It's not hoppy bitterness per se. It's sometimes like, um, just like bitterness from like the chocolate and coffee. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, how heavy was that, dude? That was, that was nice. Like, it was like, like a little meal. No, no, but I mean, like, how, um, how potent was that beer? Oh, it's very nice and potent. Great stuff. It was very potent. Yeah. Looking at the beer again, super dark. No, no light really coming through at all. Definitely deep, deep, chocolatey looking head. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it smells like. Is there much difference? Maybe a little more boozy. Yeah, I don't know, a little bit more boozy, less um, chocolatey coffee in my opinion. Less chocolate, for sure. Mm -hmm. Less sweet. You know, the, the first one have, seemed to have like, a bit more sweeter aroma. Yeah, this is definitely the ADI beer. Yeah, this is definitely more boozy. Mm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, one second. That is actually so damn good. Yeah, this is definitely the ADIBU one. <laughs> that was damn good. Yeah. Alrighty. Sound good? Alright, dude. What do you think, man? That was delightful. Yeah. Wow, that's booze. Much more intense. Wow. In every flavor. Booze. Yeah. The toffiness. Mm -hmm. and the last chocolate. Just everything. It's like it's like a level. It's yeah. It's like it's more intense than the than the uh, than the Jim Beam version. Mm -hmm. It's the next level. It is. Yeah. It took yeah. It to the next level. These guys with the, the wild turkey. It's wild. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, the the flavors. Definitely a bit more robust, a little bit more richer, and not as uh, the, 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 excuse me, doesn't have that I guess fruitiness, but like sweeter note to it. The bourbon seems to shine through a bit more. And still, everything flows really, really well. It's just I don't know something about it. It's just more intense, which I uh, I find amazing. Mm -hmm. I find it dangerous, man. Yeah, because it's wow. so super smooth. Mm -hmm. They did a really good job with this series, eh? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They've come a long way with it. It's nice. I guess they're gonna keep pumping them out. Yeah, I think I think once a year, at the end of the year, they're always gonna have a, a never say never. But I like how they're just experimenting with different styles of barrels too. It's not just the same barrel over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we tasted three. Which one was your favorite barrel? So far. I don't know. I think Jim Beam's definitely coming in third at the moment. Okay. 
Still really, really nice beer. Nothing wrong with it. Um, but I think I, I, I oh geez, I don't know this one. I think I think the wild turkey is hitting number one for me. It's hitting number one, eh? Mm -hmm. Strong. Yeah, strong and just I don't know. It seems to be a little bit more like deeper, richer flavors. I mean, the one the one year old Jack Daniels was really nice, but still, like the Jack Daniels in it wasn't. I'm not a big fan of Jack Daniels. Kind of thing. But this is just. Mm. It's hitting the spot. And you do taste a bit more of, I think, the, the, the bourbony characteristics. Where compared to the Jim Beam, it seemed like they were a bit more toned down. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, this one you get, you get a bit of like the barrel flavor mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's definitely super flavorful. Yeah. Super mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is for a heavy hitter, man. Yeah, like this ain't no joke. No, no, it's def definitely not a, not something you want to you want to just chug and, and drink all of it right yeah. away. Dude, this will knock you off. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they serve it in a single bottle. Yeah, like because if someone yeah. would casually drink the whole bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like I, I can't. I wouldn't be like I'd be able to do it obviously, but like I wouldn't be able to in, enjoy like the last half because you'd be yeah. pretty buzzed after. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really enjoy it, and like this is some. This is a great beer for sharing with people. It's exactly like what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Some this series is something too delicious to keep to yourself. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's magnificent. It's to be rich, really rich. Bold vape. I mean, not vape. Drink beer. Bold Sorry. vape. Oh, Nick has yeah. been studying. He's been studying the vape. <laughs> Nick, jo Nick joining vape. <laughs> vape nation. Guys, I'm switching career paths. <laughs> No, no, I'm not switching career paths, but yeah, <laughs> I can't believe that. Man. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. That's that's one thing that it was uh, or that I'm looking to, or at least wondering about, is like the whole pairing vapes and beers kind of oh, thing. Oh, you know? look, dude, this could be like a great thing. Mm -hmm. You could be, you could be, be the, the vape beer guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no one does it. It's not out there anymore. No, I know. Mm -hmm. Because like. This should go with some great vape. Let me see how it goes with this Yeah, flavor. for sure, for sure. Doesn't pair, doesn't pair good. No, I know. That, that's, that's, that's really fruity. Like, if you're looking with something like this, you're looking for either more of, I guess, a traditional, like, tobacco, or probably something a bit more, uh, dessert mm -hmm. Bro, because what is more relaxing than a vape and a beer? I don't know. So if you could pair the vape with the beer, mm -hmm. yeah, you could depending on depending on what you're drinking, or even it doesn't have to be beer. What if, what if maybe wine. different types of cocktails or wine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you could really grab an audience, man, and mm -hmm. you have access to everything. Mm -hmm. And they're into YouTube, yeah. so it's not hard for them to understand. Like, listen, this guy's trying to start a channel too, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're advertising their product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice little. Uh, Little, you know, a different aspect to, to things that and people might not realize. And then hands into the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that, that's, I don't think I've seen a, a video by them of doing like a, you know, vapes and, and, and different, uh, either like food pairings, well, probably not food pairings, but like, like drink pairings. Like that's an idea that, uh, that I could bring up to them. Yeah. Kind of thing. And that's, that's where one thing I was told uh, when I was uh, in, in the interview or when I was just like, you know, we always want new ideas. So like, doesn't matter if you even started here. If we're having a meeting or something, shoot, shoot us your ideas, dude. Mm -hmm. It's a small company. Your voice is heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy mm -hmm. shit, dude. Yeah. This is what you need. And you know what? You know what's in intense, man? Mm -hmm. Your two passions. Mm -hmm. Well, first beer is your passion. Yeah, for but sure. You've, for been, sure. you've been a vapor for a long. You've been like yeah. an original yeah. vapor, like yeah. When it first came out. You've yeah, been yeah, vapor. yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, one of the early adopters, kind of thing. Early adopter. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, it's crazy that like you landed, you landed two jobs yeah. both in your career path, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they kind of like you know, they kind of intertwine. Yeah, yeah, they, they kind of lap over in different aspects. Yeah, dude, you're you're fucking you're you're ready to launch, dude. Yeah, you're getting ready to launch. Yeah, yeah, I'm. It it's working out quite well for me actually. I'm. I'm uh, that's one thing I'm always a little shocked about too. It's just like how yeah. how how lucky I'm. I'm just taking in this. how lucky. How lucky you're getting on this, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. 
I'm just taking it in right now. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty neat when you when you sort of step back and take a look at it. Mm -hmm. The two things you know a lot about, mm -hmm. you're in them right now. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a, that, that's the dream. Man. Yeah. Right. And because like my like my mom, uh, like my parents always said, do something you love. So I'm just like, well, why don't I take my hobbies? And you know, make 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 money off of it. Yeah, but you like land in Uranus position mm -hmm. where you have two things going right now, mm -hmm. and they're they're like connected. You know, it's yeah. always like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you could be the first adopter of beer and and vape pairing or yeah. cocktail and vape pairing. Yeah, yeah. You could be literally. Mm -hmm. We could be looking back at this channel mm -hmm. as like the first adopter mm -hmm. of this new niche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, dude! It's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Cause I know that there are there are a couple uh, well, one of the one of the uh, YouTubers who heard of very vape heavy last their, their content uh, Grim Green he does his beer section uh, on his channel so he has craft beers and then he you know, he pairs it with whatever kind of juice he has at the moment and I'm like that's a really good idea obviously because you know you love beer and you love vaping and I'm like well that's really cool I'm like I could definitely work with something like that and do similar yeah, style like that yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then you bring in two communities into one mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah. That's two very different audiences cool. and then letting them try things. Because I know a lot of, I don't know, when you drink, you like to smoke. So if there's a lot of smokers out there, also, you know, want to maybe kick the habit, but, you know, need, That's need very a different cool. change. Mm -hmm. That's very, very cool, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's nice. We're just like bringing people together. Yeah. That's what, that's what, that's what smoking, vaping, and, and drinking does. It brings people together. You think 2019 is your year? 2019 could be my year. 2018 was pretty. Was pretty, was a wild roller coaster. I think this is your breakout <laughs> year, dude. Yeah. Like it fall. It fell into place. Like mm -hmm. uh, you know, a little, little, little bit of rockiness going on. But you know what? Yeah. You get your, you, you, your steps. Yeah. You, you, you can't. Footing. You can't grow without a little bit of rockiness. Mm -hmm. Wow. This could be your uh, mm -hmm. your year. It could be your breakout year. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's there's been a. Yeah, there's been a lot, like getting getting the new job and then uh, looking into going back to school kind of thing for, for, for the beer side of things. You know, it's... Don't it's lose, so don't lose this position, though, man. This mm, is a... Mm, 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 mm. No, this is definitely... A, uh, I'm pr pretty pretty lucky with getting this uh, getting this position and opportunity. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, mm. Hell yeah man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. Just like this beer? This beer, yeah. yeah. This is rich, this is bold, this is, wow. This is yummy. Mm -hmm. Quite delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quite rich, quite smooth. Mm -hmm. Very bold. Yeah. Bold and beautiful. Exactly what it is. You get a lot of the, lot of the wild turkey barrel in here. That place. Mm -hmm. So it's better than the Jim Beam version. Mm. How's school going for you? It's good. I gotta head out in like. 50. Okay, so we'll head out in like 10 minutes. We'll, yep. do, this, we'll do this real quick. Yeah, no worries. Uh, 10 minutes, yeah. Uh, school's a bit scarred back into the group, but I gotta go get some data. Nice, nice. I thought of something on the way home. I was like, fuck. I gotta get some stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's going good, man. It's whatever, you know. It's not. School's. School's not the important thing, you know, it's just, yeah. uh, hmm. well, it's still pretty important, you know, you gotta do your work. No, but it's so, like, I don't know, school's, like, not, uh, it's not as exciting as, like, doing, doing real-world stuff. Yeah, real yeah, Real-world stuff yeah. is always way more exciting. Oh, know? for sure, for sure. Yeah. School is kind of waiting to get to the real-world stuff. Right. But you kind of need one with, uh, to work with the other, to at least to, uh, You'll get a lot of opportunity, at least in today's day and age, you know. That's what, no, you know what, man? I think it's switching now. So back in the day, it used to be school is very important. Mm -hmm. um, but nowadays, you're learning everything online, mm -hmm. right? So they're, having, they're coming up with these online universities, like MIT Courseware. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Harvard's coming up with these online universities mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so things are changing, but it's not there yet. You know, still, you're right. School, yeah, it's, yeah. School is still look. Fun, but mm -hmm. most of the learning comes from online. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know you as well, for sure. Would agree with me with that because mm -hmm. you have a very big online uh, presence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a lot of stuff like you can learn online as well without going to school, kind of thing. Yeah, that's exactly. Mm -hmm. what I mean. mm -hmm. You don't, you don't need to go to school anymore. 
No, yeah. What's being phased out? It's slowly. It is, yeah. MIT, so Michigan of Institute of Technology, mm -hmm. and Harvard are the leaders in this industry. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to slowly move yeah. from going to university to doing you know, university from home while still working. Kind of yeah. While still doing a full time job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think I think right now, like you said, how it's in its very baby stages kind of thing. Um, because a lot of the companies that are still that are, that are around still at the moment, like their their heads are still, you know, people that pride themselves on you know you gotta go to school, you gotta get exactly, that credential. Exactly. But once good point, good point, they, they you know retire or, or, or you know die off in a sense, and you get us uh, our generation into those top positions, they will really appreciate. Hey, you don't need to go to a classroom to learn to learn everything. Great point. Mm -hmm. It's coming, man. Yeah, I'd say in ten, sure. in ten years from now, yeah, it won't be a university. Will be like an iffy thing because mm -hmm. especially how much they charge too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you can do the same course twenty nine dollars a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very cool. Mm -hmm. You'll get all the same information, all all the learning, just in a different way instead of going to a physical university. Um, I guess exactly. it changes when it comes to, to labs. So like maybe if there's like the practical element, you'll still need the university. But it's not even like uh, they're not even doing. Um, like actual, like, so there's structured learning when you go to university or, or college. Mm -hmm. Structured learning, so you learn this little bit, and then you move on to the next step, and then you move on to the next step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but nowadays, it's like, online, you, just do, you do case studies, so it's like, mm. do this. Mm. And then, instead of like learning from them, you go to different resources, you learn the information, and come back, and you do the case study. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how, and that's how it's adopting, which I think is way better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're doing all the, your, I guess you're testing and applying the knowledge, but you're grabbing the information from outside from sources. Outside sources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, for example, you're doing a blog on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. On about beer, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Why would I need to go to a classroom? Or yeah. I can just so you ask. So I go to a university, or whatever, mm -hmm. or an online university. Yeah. They give me a question. What is this? Mm -hmm. I grab as much data from as where as I can. I go with Nikolai. I read about beer. Blah blah. blah. Yeah, yeah. And then I come back. I answer the question. I don't mm -hmm. get the question right. Whatever. Get bad marks. And yeah, it teaches yeah. you to like grab data from outside sources. Outside yeah. sources, which yeah, yeah. is the real world. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's it's neat seeing that whole progression between that. What traditional like college and university used to be, and how it's developing and changing with, with all this technology in the world. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Bigger online presence. Yeah. 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 It's very cool. I mean, I think obviously college and university physically going to a building and, and learning stuff is going to be, you know, is always necessary because, you know, like I said, when it comes to labs, I know with Andre, there's a, there's a lot of theory and stuff, but also practicality and like using equipment. You can't just go to a random shop online, like while you're doing the stuff online. You right, gotta right, go to right. that building. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's gonna develop into being less building oriented for aspects that don't need that. Exactly, you know? mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for beer, you're gonna have to. There's no, there's yeah. no way around yeah. that. There's yeah, no yeah, way yeah. around that. But for a lot of other things, it's uh, mm -hmm. going online. Yeah. School is school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. right. Ever changing, you know, that's a great thing. Wow. This is a treat, yeah. It's nice. Very nice. It's so good. This is the wild turkey, eh? This is wild turkey. Oh, you know who had this was, uh. Who, who had this beer? Who had the wild turkey beer? Maybe that was a wild turkey. I right, know, Red, Red Beer just shot the reviews of one. No, no, I mean, like, who had the, uh, what's up with that big, that, it was, like, really big and boozy, like, 50% ABV. Uh, like, Kentucky Bastard? Bastard? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, was, was that not aged in Wild Turkey? Um, no? No, it wasn't Wild Turkey. I don't remember exact. I don't think they state which, uh, which barrels they put in there. I don't think they put it on the bottles, from, uh, from what I remember at the moment. But yeah, no, they, 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 it's still, theirs is still bourbon barrel age, just, uh, Kentucky bourbon barrels. Yeah, so I'm not sure which mm. bourbon brand it is. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different flavors, from what I can remember. Yeah, 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 different flavors, for sure. Yeah. Same sort of base, but yeah, different, I guess, uh, uh distinguishable characteristics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy these, uh, the, the barrel age stuff. I mean, it comes together really nice.
Mm. Same with the wine, the wine age stuff, the wine barrels. Mm -hmm. Dude, mm. we should do a winey bastard again. Is it still in production? Uh, yeah, they should be releasing their the 2019 version. I'm sure. Uh, soon. I thought it, I thought it always came out around this time. I think I have a the 2018 version um, that's been aging for a little bit somewhere in, in my cellar. I'll bring it. I'll bring it over again. Well, you got you got quite a big cellar, right? Well, it's quite not huge. Quite, quite, quite a variety. I got I got a lot of shelf space, so everything fits quite well. Are you keeping it in the uh, in that in that basement area? Yeah, in the cold storage. The right? cold storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it used to be filled with Gatorade and Kool Aid, man. Oh, it's still it's still, still, it's still filled with a lot of pop and Gatorade and water and, and, and beer. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's working out quite nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just definitely a ton more beer to, to go through for sure. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, these two beers have been amazing. They've been great. Mm -hmm. They've been really nice, actually. The Wild Turkey, I definitely prefer over the Jim Beam. Yeah, yeah. It just has that much more intensity to it. You know, a nice, a nice bit of dynamic. A little bit of extra boost. Okay, I'm just gonna die soon. No, we are here. Let's do the review so we can get out of here. Okay. Final sip? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everybody, on the final sip. Crisp, clear, and beautiful. Yeah, be best best never said never beer. Uh, Great job, guys, so far. So. Great job. I'm up there, man. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 10 on the wild turkey 10, version. 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. Mm -hmm. Uh, label is still the same as all three, which was, which yep. was seven, just yep. normal. But beer can't normal. get better than it. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's delightful. The most rich flavor, the best balanced oh, flavor. It, feels, it tastes creamy, to be honest. Like, it's so good. Yeah, it has it has a very nice creamy mouthfeel. I loved it's, it. It's, it's a it's a knock out of the park. Yeah. Great job. Great, Great. job, guys. Great job, guys. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Amazing. Well, guys. With all that said, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want, go check out Jordan as well. Highly recommend it for all your investment needs. Also, link down in the description box below. Thank you, Jordan, again for uh, for joining. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's awesome. Always going to gonna bring more bigger beers for you. And like I said, guys, with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruce. And like we always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>